perfect. Bonjour from Paris. I'm back for Creative Wednesday with Manuela this time. I'm going to show you some quick tips and tricks. And also, Jose, I think, asked me on the first video I did, the Leica M10 review, how I meet her with the camera. So we'll show you that with the M10 cameras. Uh, we're at a great spot because we're in Paris where you see the Eiffel Tower. And yes, this week was a tragedy. Thank you very much for your comments on multiple accounts where I posted about the Notre Dame fire on my Instagram, Patrick Colpern. So the trick I want to show you is uh, don't be a tourist in, when you're making photos. And I, I find the tourist shot is people get to a place like this and I was like, take a picture of me. Take a picture. And so they go like, they just stand up and take the photo, right? And hold on. And because uh, I'll show you the photo. And they take the photo. So there, there's no thought in the composition. You just lift the camera up, take the photo. And then, uh, oh, they take a picture of her. But what makes the place special is that we do have the Eiffel Tower in the background. So don't take photos. Don't be a tourist when you're making photos, even if you're a tourist visiting Paris. Put some thought into your composition and elevate your photography. So uh, the way I do this is we got the street, which point, like the lines, uh, the vanishing point just go straight up to the Eiffel Tower. So what I like to do, and now we don't have the sun, but uh, we're gonna do this. And I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna ask, and you're like, can you look, turn around? But also her head is gonna fall in that line there. I'm actually gonna close my aperture a little bit. And this is perfect. And I'm gonna go like this for the ground, why not? And there we have the photo where you see, and I'll show it in pose, but you see where her head is positioned as opposed to just going like, oh, take a picture of me. And you have all the distracting element in the background and the street is right behind her. We could actually cross the street and I'm going to show you another shot we can take at this location which is Avenue Rapp and Rue Montessu in Paris. So you can easily find this location where you see the Eiffel Tower between those buildings and you see it's a it's a destination place for photos because these guys are making wedding photos right there. That's kind of cool. And Manuela is like I'm like Jay and Silent Bob in Clerks. She doesn't talk. I'm gonna ask Manuela to cross the street after us and I'm gonna take pictures of Manuela. She's crossing the street towards me and uh, we'll see that. Just wait before you cross. And perfect, so we got this photo there. Like this. So I'm actually shooting from a lower angle and you get something totally different and totally cool. Let's wait for the truck to pass. So, but the trick is, Manuela is really good at posing for photos. But the trick is really shoot from a different angle. Position yourself, like what, the first photo I made on the other side where I get her the portrait with Eiffel Tower in the background. I'm actually positioning myself so the one-way the one street sign, do not enter sign, is blocked by Manuela, so you don't see it in the background because there's red and it really attracts the eye, so it's, some, it's a distracting element. And there, when she's crossing the street, to really show her in the background, I'm uh, shooting as ce qu'on appelle en contre where I'm shooting from a lower angle, looking up at Manuela. I gotta tell you one thing, and, and she can attest to this, Making photos is it's a walk in the park. I can, I can, anybody with a camera can make a photo, honestly. Making a video is a lot of work. Uh, I, I came here this week earlier with Malik, who's filming this right now, and uh, one segment, which I'm about to do now, how I meet her with the M10, did not record on the iPhone, because I was recording this with the iPhone. And today, uh, the zoom recorder I'm using for the sound, the mic is right here somewhere. I left the SD card for that recorder back home. And a 128 gig card is too big, which I have in my bag, so I needed to go buy another one. Yeah, making videos, it's a lot of work, guys. Making photos, anybody with a smartphone can make a photo. Anyway, let's do this. I'm gonna grab the tripod set up. And because we're gonna use a tripod, and I wanna show you also what you see in the viewfinder of a Leica, because you're not looking through the lens. 
This is a really right stuff plate. I don't really want to advertise for them, uh, but I, their stuff is, is really uh, the best. I, I buy what works for me. And for the tripods, I always have the really right stuff, uh, quick release clamps. And I get the L brackets for the cameras, whether it's Nikon, uh, Fuji, which I had at one time, or a Leica, because it's so easy to set up. You just put it there, you fix it, and there you go. And if you want to take a portrait orientation photo, you just move it around, and there you go. You're done. It's really solid. So I'm going to set this up here. And I'm going to show you, I'm actually going to set uh, ISO to 200. I'm on, ooh, too fat. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this tighter and I'm going to go, I'm going to actually level my shot using light view here. Then I'm going to compose it. I'm going to lock my little tripod in place. I'm going to show you, uh, and I'm going to film with this guy here. I'm going to make sure it's swimming this time. So right here, we're going to look through the viewfinder. Recording. So it's recording. It's recording. So you see that here, there's a little arrow. It's telling me which way to turn. And you see the frame lines also of the uh, 50 mil lens. And I'm going to take an exposing right. You see the little, I got a little arrow here. And by moving, by moving my shutter speed, I can move the arrow. So this is telling me which direction to actually move the shutter, the shutter speed in. Or alternately, you can use your aperture ring turning it in the direction it's telling you to go to set your exposure correctly. There's Malik, there's the background, and there's a truck blocking away, going away. But this, this shows you what you see in um, your viewfinder, your Leica viewfinder, because you're not looking through the lens. There's a little patch right there, and if you align the two images in the patch, that tells you I'm in focus now on the cab. And you got the Segway are going to go, so that's kind of cool. And on the shutter, you see the three bars. So there's a one, there's one white bar and there's two gray bars. And there's a little sensor right there. I don't know if you, if you can see this, if it's going to zoom in good enough. But there's a little sensor, the reflected light on the shutter will go on those sensor and that will tell me if I'm overexposed, underexposed, and it's going to give me my little arrows or red dot in the center. It's mean it's according to the camera I'm exposing correctly or do I need to move my shutter speed faster or lower to expose it correctly according to the camera or do I need to move my aperture ring also you can control the exposure with those two or the ISO you can also use the ISO to control your exposure but remember that this is a machine telling you how you should expose based on uh, through the lens metering I'm not a technical guy so uh, some of this stuff is above my head but this is the way it works so sometime based on what is seen through the lens and based on what you look like, what you're based on what your lens catches and what you see yourself, you can see uh, some areas might be darker in your composition, some areas might be brighter. And if the dark areas are, there's more dark areas than bright areas in your composition and you want to expose correctly, you may need to overexpose according to your camera, but your exposure is going to be right once you look at your images getting the right exposure and then correcting for the shadows afterwards or the highlights. So just expose right, that's it. Uh, that, but that's for Creative uh, Wednesday. Change your angle, change your point of view so you can compose better and have less uh, distracting elements. You feel like you're filming the tripod, man. Move your body where you plant your feet, at which height you're shooting your subject from. It will change your composition, will highlight your subject, and increase the quality of your composition by removing distracting elements in the background. That's it. Any questions? No. No? Pretty straightforward. It's all Greek to me. So.
This is it. Subscribe, like, comment, hit the notification bell. That's a wrap. And that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>